Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Casual Report. It's been a while, to be honest. Been ages. The top is Jordan's mate. Brought to you by Cheetos. It ain't easy being cheesy, mate. Why? Where's my Cheetos? Yeah, if they're Cheetos. they're sponsoring this. Why is mine? Mate, that's the dream. Get sponsored by Cheetos. Start to buy Cheetos ever again. I just changed that name, actually. Um, joining me today is Jam. He only scores <laughs> when he wants. Oh, what's your fucking Do you name? Mean, you mean your league or league? League, mate. Um, James, are you well? We've just been playing a bit of league, to be honest. We have, we have been playing some league. Um, I, I was I, carrying, obviously. It, you carried nothing, mate. Um, it's been a hot minute since we've done an actual legitimate show. How have you been? When was you last time? Busy. No, you've been a while. You've been on, I think, uh, two weeks, a week, week and a half. A week ago on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds about right, mate. What have you yeah, been, what have been the, playing? Ah, uh, Rocket League. Yeah, I, I know that one, mate. Mario Strikers. Yeah. Okay. We're, 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 right. We've not had a. Uh, uh, we've not had a classic. What do you call it? Standard report. We've not had this set up since Strikers came out. I just I need to know. As an average strikers fan, mm -hmm. how would you rate the new one? Give me two seconds. Talk to me. I'm on listening. Talk to me. How do I rate the new one? I'd give it like a. What do you give it, mate? A seven. A seven. Out seven of... off. Why? I mean, for someone that likes strikers a lot. Gameplay. Yeah. It's good. Gameplay is yeah. very good. Um. And and I'm not trying. I mean, oh, I'm slagging off the game a bit. The con mate. the content is lacking, mate. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've, oh. The the content's lacking, and the the lower score is not because of the game's content's lacking. It's because Nintendo should have known it was lacking. Yeah. They probably do know, but and then they don't give a shit, mate. Time goes on. If this becomes a mate, here's some new stadiums. Here's new, if they treat this like they do with Smash Bros. Yeah. Then it will get better over I mean, time. Uh, I just think it's a, it's a bare bones release. Not that Smash Brothers are bare bones in any stretch of the imagination, but I know what you mean. I think it's going to be more like tennis and no, that uh, wasn't. golf. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That kind of thing. Apparently, apparently the new Mario Party is supposed to be very similar, as in they will release new characters and new boards eventually. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, so obviously, as you know, huge fan of the series, right? Me as well. I've been playing it as well as that. Um, been carrying on seasons because I'm the only one playing. Is it better than the first one? I can't, can't remember. How, well, I've been last time I played it oh, was yours, and I did have a good time playing it. Yours. Is it better than the first one? You played it a lot more I, than I, I did. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I I, I get why because the pushing competitive multiplayer online, aren't they? So. I get why the setup is one character. So you can have like Mario, Luigi, Donkey Kong and Bowser on the same team. Whereas on the other ones, you couldn't. You could only have Mario, Luigi or Donkey Kong or Bowser as a captain and have like a Cooper or a, a Toad or a whatever as your little as your team. I think that's a better setup personally. But I understand why they went that way because they are pushing competitive online multiplayer with the Strikers Club. They Which will. has its, um, you know, there's, there's something there with Strikers Club. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's that yeah. competitive edge, but I just feel, right, someone who plays that game a lot, someone who smokes that game all day long, mate. Um, the ugh, I said we're saying before the show started, the keepers just let you down. Like, Jack, you can, show me the show me your Strikers GameCube cover. Have you got the American one. Nope. Why? Oh no, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, what the same. Yeah. And then that's the. Uh, I... The Wii one. Wii one was too outright. Too... Wii one was. Added ah, some... that, that's what I was looking for. No, no one cares about the Wii the one. The Wii terrible. one added. Uh... The Wii one was the sequel you wanted to see, but it was too outrageous. Even for a Mario sports game, it was too outrageous. Like six well, goals in one shot. Six goals in one. Are you mental? No. That means you can be 5-0 up in the last minute and get a hyper strike and concede 6 and lose. 
that's bullshit, mm-hmm. mate. I'm sorry. I don't care what you say to me. That's bollocks. Um, mm-hmm. But like they added like Peter Pran is in the Wii one. Diddy Kong's in the Wii one, and so on. Um, the players, not the captain, like the the minion players have have their own special shot. Like Dry Bones is a, a, a minion player. I don't know what they call. I can't remember, but. Uh, and that he has like an electrifying shot, so you can sh- charge a shot up, shoot, shoots off an electrifying ball, electrifies the keeper, chip him, done, goal. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know, man. I just, I'm talking like I don't like the game. I play that game all fucking day, mate. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but, oh, it's, yeah. the, it's the keepers, mate. I was, I was before before the game came out. I saw reviews talking about the keepers. I was like, come on, it can't be as bad as. The other two, about probably about the same as the other two, but I might know. It's just it's scripted, so goals everywhere, which is part of the fun of an arcade football game. Don't get me wrong, but as a defender and as somebody as terrible of a football player I am, a defender, I don't like to concede goals. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got no one like goals. No, 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 you know what I mean. But, but I really fucking some people like just score more than them. I'm like, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what a clean sheet. And there's no such thing as a clean sheet in that game. No. Um, you can batter somebody like 5 4. Do you know what I mean? Like That's always been the case, G. though, in 8 7. 8 7. No, and that leads me to my next point. That was because you. I mean, obviously, you're good for it. Don't, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, you're good for it. I'm not, not making excuses or anything, but your gear setup helps you, not carry you, yeah. but helps you play better than what you'd normally do without the. Which I believe there's. Well, I think the, the first games I played without you without gear, and I didn't really. Do you know why? I thought I, thought I had things on. Why? Because there's no gear in the others. No, no, I, no. I meant I already I had. Oh no, I meant in this new one. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Um, but I, I just feel that the, there's enough room there for cheese with the the gear. Do you know what I mean? Like, so for example, there's a way I could beat anyone in that game with the cheese. Yeah, you can. Do you want me to tell you what to do? Four toads. Oh, I... Four toads. All speedy gear. Run rings round them. Jewish goal. Every time. Goal. That's cheating. It's not cheating, mate. Um, but that's what I'm saying. It's the keepers of shit. Because like, they fall for it every time. They do. Down the wing. In. Right, okay. Like, big computer on super duper hard mode, like... 6 2, just doing that. And it's supposed to be like hard. But I mean, it is hard, don't get me wrong. If you're not careful, you do get spammed by the computer if you whack it on. Oh, hour. jammy. Um, but you know what I'm saying. But, mate, I'll talk about Mario Strikers till the fucking sun's, sun's goes down, mate. What else have you been playing? Uh, Shredder's Revenge. Oh, mate, how can we forget Shredder's Revenge? Oh, what? Are, he's completed yet. No, me and uh, so not yesterday, day before. So I went on. Yeah, and NS came on. So like I was playing some Shredder's Revenge. We'd been we played the first three anyway, mm-hmm. through the first three or four levels, and then the day after, me yeah. and NS came on, and then Sean was on, and his boyfriend Phil was with him. Yeah, and he's got Game Pass, so we we played four player and carried on from there. We got to like a level eleven, was it all right? five more, you know. It's glorious in every way. Is it all right online? Because it's been a bit of a... Yeah, yeah. yeah no, people sound... were moaning about the online, but when I played with NS, I didn't... It wasn't, like, re... it wasn't as fluid as it could have been, but it wasn't like... No, it was, you know what it I mean? Was I was streaming as well, so it, it wasn't... Like... I mean, mm-hmm. I'm sure that the, the, the complaints are justified. I'm not trying to say they're not. Um, and maybe it's cross... Is it cross-play? I can't remember. I want to say know. yeah, but just um, do what you need to do. But yeah, Shred of Revenge, man, it's, it takes me back. It's one of them ones that it always it feels like they've always played like that and they've always looked like that. And you know what I mean? But when you go back and play Turtles in Time, as good of a game that is, mm-hmm. I, I I don't think from a from a quality of life perspective, I don't think it stands up at all. It's beautiful. It's going to be a contender for me. Yeah, it's really really good. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's old style beat yeah. up arcade side scroller, mm-hmm. but the the controls and the gameplay so good. Like April is so good in that game. Like, I've not used April. April's yet. sick. 
Um, this is what I used the most in the, uh, the campaign. I'm Leonardo. Yeah, because you're a fucking scrub, mate. Yeah. Michelangelo I'm is the best turtle, mate. You're you Michelangelo. I am. I fucking wish, mate. Uh, uh, so we we both like, but got game of the year contender. I don't think it's going to be Xenoblade or um, yes, Elden Ring for me. From yes, all, from a like craftsmanship. No, not even. I'm not. Try, I'm not trying to be rude. You know what I mean. I appreciate the time and effort and craft that goes into that kind of thing, but when you compare it to, we'll carry on. Um, do you play anything else? Everything caught your eye. No. Right, right. So you've um, done, right, you've done, right, you've done um, your games. You've done your games. Yeah, let's fucking get down to it, mate. What what have you been watching? I've been watching a really good TV series. The Office. Been watching The Boys. The Boys. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I, I have I have caught up on the boys. How is the boys? I've um, good. Yeah, sorry. I watched the first episode last week. You watched I've... the? Hurry up! Uh, give me a few years. I'll be fine. Uh, don't, don't worry, but uh, uh, Ryan, I will say nothing. No spoilers for the boys. All I know is a penis explodes. Yes, big time. Um, <laughs> oh, and then obviously, I for the. For as long as I can remember, Jensen Ackles. Is, in yeah, it. right. Jensen Ackles is in it, and so's um, Padalecki. Jim. Oh, I know what you mean. Him. Yeah, I know what you mean. Supernatural dude. I know what you mean. Don't worry. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, Jim. What is his name? Beaver. Jim Beaver. That's him. He's sick as. Jim Beaver. Yeah, it's cool because. No, I actually, what's in it? I mean, it's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. I've not seen a meet. Ryan knows who Jim Beaver is, Jam. I'll have less of your cheek. I know. Uh, and then, obviously, I watched the greatest Star Wars I must have seen since... Rogue One. Episode 3. Rogue One. The Rogue One. Uh, Thank you. Even though I, I like this, the, the sequel trilogy, it's a bit... Eh. It's okay. I like it. But, mate, I had goosebumps watching this. Yeah. Oh, right. So uh, I was well, I was watching this on my own, like exact like making noises. Like, can I just oh can I just and can I just stop like, you right there, Jam? What, ladies and gentlemen, the chat, boys and girls, children of all ages, all our non-binary friends everywhere. If you watch on YouTube, we're probably going to jump into Obi Wan spoiler territory here. So, um, be on it. You're whackers on a. A couple of minutes if you don't want to you know what I mean Jam. carry on sorry yeah. to yeah, so, yeah. just mute with Ryan yeah. it's um some of the best Star Wars I've seen in a very it's, it's long time I know yeah like Mandalorian stuff I love it is great but I, I'm I'm like I like the Jedi stuff I like the lightsaber fighting and stuff like that that's my that's my jam with Star Wars because yeah. like, like my first Star Wars was Episode one, but obviously my first hype building thing because I watched the originals, loved it. But when you got episode one and the Darth Maul Qui Gon Obi Wan fight, it's like how far they fight. I was like, that's it. This is what I love, and we get it again in this. Mm -hmm, We do. Um, So as a series, I think you said a couple of weeks ago that it's very stop start. It's either all happening at once or fuck all's going on, and it's really Mm -hmm. like. It's just a, sometimes it's a slog to get through. I'll be honest with you, but when it the payoff when you do get to the good bits is probably good, worth yeah. a, probably worth a slog to be honest. Um, I I think like so the it was cool like the first Vader Obi Wan fucking encounter. Vader man oh that my was, god that was that was it was all right it was cool like there was no like fancy light no, the fucking yeah, I am that. what you may be like lying. fucking yeah don't even the, go there the, Tom. the exchange of yeah. Like the dialogue and the exchange is really, really I think good. And that was a, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to stick up for bad choreography because I don't think it's bad choreography. But I mean, that was the point. That no, no, it, that it's, it's like, like you said, like you said earlier, Obi Wan's been slumming it for ten years. Yeah, he's been just chilling in the cave for fucking ten years. Not, he ain't been using the force. He hasn't been training, has he? No, 
and then he put himself in danger and his life flashed before his eyes and bam, he's come back marching. Um, so, Reva, how do you feel about Reva? Reva, well, I can't remember say it. I'm too excited. Reva, Reva, Reva. Reva. Uh, just, Reva good, good character. Yeah. But again, like, I, I hate sometimes hate Reva my brother who he didn't understand her. She didn't die. Why didn't Vader kill her? Grand Inquisitor, lightsaber through the chest, survived. Her lightsaber through the chest survived. Qui-Gon, lightsaber through the chest, dead. I mean, Qui-Gon's shite, mate. Sorry. <laughs> but to be fair, Grand Inquisitor got stuck in a back to tank pretty quickly, I think. Like, yeah. that heals them. Um, obviously, Qui-Gon didn't, and nor did she. So I don't understand, like, because you saw how, like, Darth Vader's walking down the street in episode three, just snapping people's necks. Just that, the, uh, that, mate. That they did nothing love... to him. Go on. But, but then Braver betrays him, and he just, like, I'll stab her and leave her alone. Yeah. This, I said, to, I think it was before the show started, this is my favourite rendition of Vader, I think, in a live action He's just a twat. Yeah. He's just a bastard. Yeah. Like, he's a bastard in the original trilogy, don't get me wrong, but in this, he's just a prick, man, and I love it. And it's snap- like you say, he's snapping necks, and in that last fight, yeah. he, he, when, spoilers, when Obi-Wan cuts his helmet, like, a little whoosh, and I'm, his face is coming through, and it, it, Aiden Christensen's screaming, and they sort of superimposed, not superimposed, but they put James Earl Jones' voice on top of it, and I'm just like, that's so cool. I, I'm like you, and that last episode especially, I was watching that. I think Jade was sat outside with a bit of art. Um, I was like, <gasps> like when his helmet, when he could see through his helmet, I was like, oh my god! Like I, don't, I, don't, I thought him sat in the um, what do you call them? The 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 water things. Back to tank. Yeah, the them. I think him sat in that. I thought that was all we were going to see of his face, and that, like the flashbacks and things. I didn't think we'd see him like under the hood, if you will. And when when he did that, I was like, oh my god! I was. You see, the, you see the gash in his head yeah. as well. Was... Yeah. That was caused by Obi Wan. I was like, oh, that's sick. That's in Return of the Jedi. I was like, it's all like mm-hmm. merging and bridging the gap. Yep. And then we got Caden Hayden's voice and James Earl Jones' yeah. voice. So James Earl Jones like, is ninety-one, by the way. Uh, he, he's a legend. Ninety-one. He's a legend. He's a legend, man. He's but, fucking sound as fuck. But yeah, when they merged that voice as oh, well, that was so cool. I was like, that is wicked. Yeah. Um. Oh god, uh, yeah, and uh, episode four, the Fallen Order episode. Yeah, that was so cool. Uh, some yeah. people, some people used the Fallen Order, but the people of the Fallen Order. That episode, I'm like, this is fucking wicked. Yeah. Um. And yeah, so I, there's rumors. I know, uh, naughty. Don't speak rumors, but there's rumors of Carl Kester's having his own t- Disney Plus series. How would you feel about that? Or would you want him to stick to just his Fallen Order games? Or Jedi games, I should say. No, I'm... Are you, are you against it? Or I'm not against it. I'm against, like, just doing it for the sake of it. But if there's a story there point. and it's worth being told, which I think at this point when... Yeah, he's, the... he's quite interested in that, Carl Kessler's, I think. When, I think Disney now are making sure it's worth telling there's yeah. a story. So, like, like with their... If Obi Wan season two is worth doing all that, I know yeah, Hayden I'm, and I'm, Ewan said they're down for it. Everyone's but down for it, mate. I'm, I I will not say no to a season two. You wouldn't, but I would not be upset if they said there's no season two because this ties it off. Yeah, I feel nice. that him walking into the the things at the end with spoilers with um, Qui Gon's Force Ghost at the end. That was yeah. a perfect way to say right. He's going to hide for ten years. For is it ten years till? Jedi. It's, um, it's another nine years. Nine years, think, yeah. yeah. I think Luke, Luke, I think. But this is the thing, though. But the at the end of episode three, Yoda says you're going to have training with Qui-Gon. Mm-hmm. So it... And... and mm-hmm. it's One thing that doesn't add up. So they probably have left it open for another story to tell for Obi-Wan. Because Obi-Wan leaves. Like, he's, he's going away from Luke at the end, isn't he? He's like, yeah. Owen, Baru, your problem now. But in episode four... Obi Wan's around again. Yeah, he's so he's some, some, something. Cave, that, well, he's he's not just gone down the road. He's he said he's, he's he went off to do something. He's off keeping his distance, doing his own thing. Yeah. But then in episode four, he's, he's yeah, he's just down the road again. So 
works. He's gonna <laughs> wait to come back again, so there's is a space there maybe for something else. A, I reckon there's another story to tell. I'm sure they can find another story mm -hmm. to tell, but again, following Man. on from that, I don't know. Brilliant. What what big wow factor can they bring other than having like Qui Gon in it? Um, because Qui Gon was already confirmed to be a voice in one of the the animated things. Like Liam Neeson is coming back for that. Yeah, it's the was it Rebels or Rebels? Can't remember. I can't remember what it is. Um, I can't remember. That was confirmed. I was yeah. like, okay, he's, he's signed up with that. He's definitely done Obi Wan. Um, I, but I, I don't I, know what. I had a feeling that towards the end when everyone was coming back, I was like, okay, got to have Liam's, got to come back. And I don't know what big wow factor there would be in it. How much do you reckon he got paid to, to say, come on then? Wedge. Oh, God, mate. But then, then there was. Um... So, I mean, uh, Cal Castus could meet Obi Wan at the same timeline. It is. They're about the same time, aren't they? It's about. So, the, the, this take. could be. It could be like, you know, you got Boba Fett, Mandalorian, yeah, you can have Obi Wan, Cal Castus, maybe. That could be where the wires have been crossed. I maybe Cal Castus is going to jump the. I'm just being sure was like, he's going to be in the Mandalorian for a bit and he's going to. Yeah. Jump into Obi Wan and going to jump into Ashoka and all that shit, so. Yeah. But, so, who, who knows? But I think it's, tw it's loads of twists and turns, but I reckon they're. If there's a second Obi Wan season, there's got to be something big wow factor for mm -hmm. it. Like, oh look, Mace Windu's alive, or something like that. Samuel Jackson's—he said he'd be down for doing Mace Windu again. Yes. Didn't he? he did because of the check, probably not for the artistic vision, but. Oh uh, mate, uh, you, they they I would do Star Wars for free. I would as well. Just if if Kathleen Kennedy's not, watching this, just not hit me minimum up. Minimum wage, minimum wage. T Ten pound an hour. Couldn't live, couldn't live on nothing. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, they'll do it for peanuts. Give me an X-Wing or a lightsaber, I'm happy. Yeah, I, I think um, just, uh, Gary Witt who wrote Rogue One and he was on set for some of it and he said in the... It was on set talking to the people flying the fucking X-Wings and shit and the actual real, real pilots. And he said to them something like, "Oh, th this must be a joke to you. You, st you like real pilots? Said, what the fuck?" And and they said to him back, I "said As a kid, this is why I wanted to be a pilot. Star Wars. This is my <laughs> fucking dream." I'm yeah. like, "Yes, I can appreciate that, mate." Um, mm -hmm. But I oh, fuck yeah, man. I was. I didn't. I knew. It was, I thought it was going to be safer than it was. It was pretty safe, but you know what I mean. A bit. Some of the stuff they touched on, I was like, "Yeah, this is cool." I have layer at the mm -hmm. end, like I said before the show, that oh, it's, it, Obi Wan tells her about her mum, and then yeah, fixes at the a end of hole. New Hope, not New Hope, the other Return one, of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Um, she's like, oh, I've only heard of this about my mother, and it's what Obi Wan told her, and it's why she yeah, yeah. probably called Kylo Ren Ben. So yes, I mean, most people sort of put that two and two together there anyway, but. Um, but now there's more. Oh, now there's def a definite Leia Obi Wan interaction. Yes. And obviously Le Leia has, uh, I suppose at the time, of a new a new hope a closer relationship with Obi Wan than Luke does. That's true. That is very true. Um, Obi Wan gets him for like a few hours. <laughs> that is very true, mate. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, are you, are you gonna rate it or? Is it a ten for you? Yeah. Uh, it's not a ten, no. Um, yeah, I agree. I think uh, no, you give me like final episodes, like nine. Yeah, nine. Final episodes about nine. The rest is about seven. Ep episode five is episode. It, it gets progressively episode, better. Ep it does. I like the first two episodes. Pretty cool, like the establishing of this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. Episode three was a bit hurry up, do something, and then when you thought something was going to happen, it wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. And then there was lots of running through tunnels. I was like, no, there's nothing happening here. Episode four was the Fallen Order one. I really like that because you just like you got to see Obi Wan. That was wicked. be a Jedi, that swing some wicked. swords. And yeah, shit. Yeah, that yeah. was sick. That was and wicked. five and six were, were great. Yeah, it was only seven or an eight. What in seven or an eight? Overall, probably like eight. Yeah, seven and <laughs> eight, eight, something like that. Because um, the, the good stuff outweighs the stuff where it's a bit boring. Yeah, it it than... delivers at the end. It delivers. Mr. Neckbeard is here. Hey, I hate this is eight as well. How are you, Neck? Are you okay? Um, well, Hello, Nick. I saw someone on Twitter. 
as I tend to do when I'm just on Twitter. Yeah, it's on Twitter, just chilling. Um, and someone said it should have been a film. Now, would you have preferred it to be a film, or would you like the more openness of the? I mean, in fair fair point, being a film, there would have been a lot, lot less. I read a lot of that film, mate. To be honest, I can would've see got... what they're saying, but that's like saying any series but... should have been a, a couple of films. You know what I mean? But they get to drag out the hype for yeah, exactly. a, a month. Wait, our penises were erect, mate. I watched um, all of them. And it seems to be the way everything's going anyway, made by Disney. You know, mate. You know, have you watched anything else? Yeah, I'm part of Moby you, you can smash G neck. Um, I'll watch that new Miss Marvel. Is that any good? It's actually, I, I didn't expect to be watching it. Like, oh, I, I just was in bed. I was like, oh, I'll put it on, whatever, fall asleep to it. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. I've seen yeah. the first two episodes. Uh, everyone says it's now. quite... Um, yeah, it's good. good it's good, yeah. Uh, I'm, give me a few years. I'm fucking... Marvel... Right, I saw, I saw a meme. My friend sent me a meme today. Was it mm-hmm. today? No, it wasn't today. It was yesterday. Um, it says, watching Marvel films after Endgame is like doing side quests after you've completed a game. I'm like, yeah, it's, I can, it's, yeah, I can feel that meme. Yeah, and yeah. It's, I, do you know what I mean? Because there's no... Side of, other than other than this, the third Spider-Man film, yeah, and even yeah, then, not, like, that was just a fan it, fan wank. One, I mean, yeah, I feel it's I mean? a bit it is a disjointed universe now, but I'd imagine it should be. Like, it's yeah. supposed to be. I mean, until I mean, they bring I think up there's no Avengers. there's no big bad coming on the right. Well, there's, there's hints and teases everywhere, but there's no like con- concrete big bad like mm-hmm. a Galactus or a Doctor Doom or whatever or a Kang. Do you know what I mean? Who would you want to see as an big bad? Doctor Doom, right? Yeah, but that means you could bring the Fantastic Four in. I mean, I'm, I mean, I won't be against it. I want do want to see I mean, the Fantastic Four. I mean, we know who I want to see. We have already seen. Potentially, them. may have already without spoiling anything, may have already seen one of them. Right? You can watch it now. I, I, can't, man, watch it. I can't watch it. I can't watch it last night because I watched number one. I can't watch it Obviously. tonight because I'm busy. I can't watch it. I'll watch it tomorrow. I might watch it tomorrow. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's good. Um, Neck, the boys is glorious. I've just, I've, I finished, I've caught up with that the other day. Living the dream on the boys, mate. Anything else apart from Miss Marvel and Obi Wan, Jam, you've been watching? No. Why not? Uh, don't think of anything else, no. Don't ask me. What have you been watching? I've been chilling, mate. What you I've been chilling. We play Strikers. We talk about that in, in depth. So I want more boys to sleep again, Jim, with more Strikers nonsense. Mm. I've started Final Fantasy VII again. Not the remake, the OG one on my Switch. Um, I've got it on my Switch, actually. I've yeah. downloaded it today. Yeah, you know, to get it to Spain. But I, 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 I've thought about this. I've not completed it since... A long time ago. I don't even know. A long time ago. Um, Does it feel good to play after you? Yeah. Done the... I mean, it, I've, I know what happens. I you know how much I love Remake. We'll talk about Remake in a minute. Sorry, Jam. I have to boy to sleep again. But, I, yeah, it, it's one of them. It's just, that was, that was the pin, that was a pinnacle game. Like, Super Mario Brothers, Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy Seven, Queen of Time, yeah, yeah. Witcher Three is further yeah. down, but it's that, that kind of like oh, this is what gaming can be. It's it, you can still sort of see it today, but time has not been kind to that game. I'll be honest with you. Um, mm-hmm. Like visually, yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I felt that when I played it last. Yeah, but visually, it's a bit it's rough around the edges, and um, Square Enix sort of got good at animating fast because you've seen Final Fantasy Eight, and I'm like, that is fucking nice, mate. Game is shite, but it's nice. So I'd say the same is shite. Um, we'll be kidding. If you like a fan fancy, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, mm-hmm. But I mean, yeah, it's good to revisit that world again. And I've, I've obviously the amount of theory videos I watch, and I've, you know, I, I know what happens and what all these characters go through. And, mate, at the time there was there was stuff like it, but there was nothing like Final Fantasy Seven. Do you know what I mean? At the time. Also, At the time, I, it was great. It was the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. Also, I went, um, Father's Day on Sunday, my first one. Hallelujah. Um, 
my lad took me to the Bradford. Oh God, hang on. Bradford Science, Science. Bradford Science and Media Museum, which is really cool. Like this fucking uh, the new profile picture stick. Yeah, it's Mac twos in in the floor from the well, not Mac two. Like, oh, sorry, sorry, Nick. I'm just too close to my microphone. <laughs> Definitely. Turn didn't. it down, you gimp. Let me turn him down. No. I'll turn Jam all you should be up. Amazed. You should enjoy listening to my voice. I'll, I'll turn you down to. Record it and it'll make you fall asleep. I'll turn you down to 50. How's that? That good. Uh, let me know if that's better. Um, yeah, so right now, it's really cool. There's a room about internet and connectivity and computers and stuff. Um, and there's like Dreamcast in the floor and it goes all the way up to the 3DS and. Um, the Mac 2s and all that around the side and Mac, uh, the one with the big ass, the Mac you know what I mean um, and then I had to, yeah, there was a broadcasting thing as well upstairs, there was a science bit with like sound and colours and vision and shit and there was on the top floor there was an animation bit and that was really, that was really cool, there was like Wallace and Gromit statues and Wombles and fucking um, Doctor Who Daleks. That was in the broadcasting bit, actually, but whatever. And there's the arcades there as well. So I walked in, I got the highest scoring glass in and walked out. That's what I did. You were jammy. They reset them scores every day, obviously. They do. I think they do. Because um, I got it on my first go. So I. I I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. Was that what you played? No, you were playing. Gl- gl- Glatzin, yeah. I'm a competent right. Glatzin player, but I wouldn't get the, f- the top score in the first go. I got the second score in Defender. Oh. That pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Defender's awkward to play. It's very good, but it's awkward to play in arcade because there's buttons for everything. Um, sound of the times, mate, but it's a very good game. Um, and also walked into Bradford, which is definitely something, mate. You walked? Yeah, from, from the Science Museum. That in, oh, into, right, fair enough. Not from my house. Mm-hmm. That's about 20 mile, 15 mile, probably. I was about to say, yeah. Um, to walk, it's only about... It's a five minute walk down the road from from the, from the museum. So we walked in. It's definitely something. There's a nice water storm there, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, Jade was like, "Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go game." I was like, "No, not game. We're in CX first. And uh, basically, what we do is CX. We walk in, complain about the price, and walk out. Right? Standard, standard stuff. I did that yesterday. Yeah. In I was like, how much? I mean, some of it's all right, price. I'll be honest. Some of it's all right. Um, that dragon card was only thirty quid, and I I paid uh, a mom and grop shop, mom pop, whatever, like more than that because I like to, you know, I'm I'm giving back to the smaller businesses. You know what I mean? And obviously you pay a premium. I have no problem with that. No, it's so fine. It's a game, right? And I sent you this picture, Jim. I've got them there by me. Don't worry. And I see. Walking around, having a look around, as you do, you know, you know what I mean? I always say walk into shops. By the way, if you're lucky enough, Metro Dread on Switch is £20 and in Asda. In your Asda? In my Asda. If you're lucky enough, in Yorkshire's Asda, it's £20. Go and have a look if you fancy it. Um, in Crew, it's 40 quid, but I'm, I'm still thinking that perhaps there's a price change going down there. Um, perhaps the one I've got has got an abundance of them and they're just getting rid of them. I would have got you one, Jam, but they were sold out, so... Sorry, I uh, don't. No, I would have bought them all. Yeah, mate. Um, but it's twenty quid's a good price for Metroid Dread. Not even a year old yet. And it's a Nintendo first party game. Oh, well, yeah, te- I know. Te- technically second party, but it's a first party like franchise, isn't it? Um. So anyway, we're walking around and walking around and walking around. We get to the Xbox. So we like we want PlayStation games to Switch games and to the Pokemon cards and back around to the, to the Xbox games, right? I don't buy Xbox mm-hmm. games a lot. I saw one, Steelbook, Ori, right? Pre-owned nine ninety nine. I'm like, oh, uh, ah. <sighs> I look at it. I think I've got it on Switch. It's on Game Pass. I like a steel book though. Jay's very, you know, she's very, um, what's the word? You know, just get it, just get it, you'll be alright, just get it. Three for two as well. Yolo. Yeah, Yolo. Yolo. Just fucking get it. Like, three for two. I'm like, fuck's sake. Right, okay. Three for two. So I stand there, and look, I pick up another one. I thought, well, right, you, because right, I've got two again. Like, you pick the other one. So she couldn't find one. So I was like, I'll fucking pick the other one then, shall I? So three games. Went to the shelf. Went to the till. Like, yeah, mate, have these. So I've got, I've got the games, right? So obviously these two. Dark Side is Genesis. Have you played that? 
It's no. the be- it's the best Art Sides game. Top down. Um, yeah, that's on the new PlayStation Three one thing. Is it? it? I play it. It's, it's good. Top down twin mm-hmm. stick. Um, not sh- not twin stick shooter per se, but it's a twin stick kind of act- faction kind of game. Um, isometric. It's pretty good. It's good. Um, the guy that does the voice for Grimoire Vice, isn't it? Very mm-hmm. good voice actor. And Indivisible. Now that is very good. That's a shame. Um, the developers got fucking the poor pulled because do you know what I mean? Is that do what you, know you tweeted what? on your own yeah, thread? Yeah, it's very yeah. good. Um, gameplay is wicked. It's like a turn-based fucking action RPG, but it's not quite action. It's not quite all the way turn-based. Um, the way it works, what there's four characters, and one character is sort of assigned to a face button, and obviously mm-hmm. it's like the more powerful you get, the more times you can attack in a turn, and the more powerful your attacks are, and the better weapons eventually you'll get, and so on and so forth. The voice acting is great in it, the music's great in it, the artwork's great, the animation's great. It's good. I mean, Fiverr, wasn't do you love a turn based game? I do. I also love a turn based game, and obviously that. Then, right, obviously the Ori uh, Steelbook. You go, you pull, he opens his drawer, right? And there's about five of them. Now, what do you notice about this, Jam? Why don't you buy five of them? I, was, I would have. I thought I should have bought them all. <laughs> I, I'm not going to be that guy, though. We've put some on eBay. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's F- you notice about this is pre-owned jam apparently, and as you can see, it's it still looks pre-owned in its, to me. It's still in its original wrapper, and it I'm is, just yeah. like, I, I I had to double take and I had to say to him, "It's a tenner, right?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah." And then I, I thought it wasn't in the free for two, but it was in the free for two, so I got them three games for fifteen pounds. Still, arms. I'm just saying, bargs. that is that bar. I'm, I'm I'm about a bargain. Now I know how um the ladies feel when they walk into a, a shop and they see a nice little dress for a tenner. Do you know what I mean? I know, and that, that feeling was there, and I'm like, oh, and it's good. I and Ori is Ori the Will of the Wisps. Brilliant. What a metaphor. But you understand what I'm saying, though, right? Mm-hmm. Ori and the Will of the Wisp is a brilliant game, and I'll fucking have that special edition steel book, chunky boy, all day long. For a tenner. It's technically a five if you want to even it out. But I don't really. You know? I've uh, played it like for about two hours. It's, good it's good. It's good. Um, the whole, it's good on Switch as well. Uh, what else have I been playing? I've had seven. That. What else? We had a bit of League earlier. Hang on. We did play some League. Aren't you Turtles again. Uh, oh, I bought Dragon's Dogma as well. That was three quid. Mate, I don't pay full price for video games. <laughs> that's, a, that's a beauty of being on the casual report. Oh, only on day full, one. Don't pay full, yeah, yeah, don't pay full price. Discount. Don't pay full price. Um, I don't play that though. I just made sure it worked on my computer. Of course it works. This game from 2012-ish, 11, I don't, can't remember. Um, it feels like I've been playing something else, but I, I, can't, I can't for the life of me. Pinpoint it. Try, mm, yeah. No, that that's probably about it. And then obviously, Obi Wan and, and the usual shit I've been watching. <sighs> Jam. What? Enough about us, mate. Never enough about us. Um, should we should we crack on? Fifty minutes in. Forty minutes in. Fifty. Forty minutes. Forty-one. Yeah, forty minutes. It's not a lot, so it's all good. So good, mate. Um, I've already got. I mean, we've not been, we've not done a proper report for the, like the past two, three weeks. So I've, I've just gone on the past week news, and even then, I missed a bit. So <laughs> this is what it is. Mm-hmm. First, don't forget. Um, if you want justice in the world, you have to vote for the ultimate list of Final Fantasy games. Um, most people in the chat now have already done it. If you watch on YouTube, I'll put it in the description. Um, rank your games. I can confirm. Jam, that the it, top four are wrong. Are the correct games just in the wrong order? All oh, right, fair enough. Right. Um, in my opinion, of course, but my opinion is the only one that matters. So, your anyway, opinion does not matter. It is mine. Um, 
but I mean, yeah, it's, it's all in good fun, isn't it? Um, but I'm not happy about that, though. Yeah, so if you haven't voted, you've got a few weeks yet. Don't get me wrong. Um, get voting. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody. No. We'll try and be a bit quicker on this, uh, Ryan. If Because if <laughs> um, Ryan's voted. Ryan, Ryan's very good, mate. Ryan's voted. Though it's wrong, Jim. You know, mate, oh, Ryan's, so. Ryan's vote is probably wrong. Probably, it's probably wrong. right. Probably wrong, mate. I'll be the judge of it when There'll we find out. There'll be no judge of anything. Um, but I mean, we'll try and get the sure. dawn in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Ryan voted correctly. That's what I fucking mate. Jam. Enough jargon, mate. Uh, are you ready for some charts? They probably haven't changed. You'd be surprised. Who guess number one? Uh, so if it do come out, oh strikers! You're guessing strikers. Strikers is not number one. No. Um, uh... So charts are as follows. I go from ten to one. So FIFA twenty two at ten, Grand Turismo seven at nine, Minecraft at eight, A Quarry at seven, Quarry, Pokemon yeah. Legends at six, Mario Kart eight at five, Nintendo Switch Sports at four. You played any of that? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, again, NS me, me, in the house. again, missing some content. Yeah. Mario Strikers Battle League Football is number three. Down from number one. Then it's like a Star Wars a Skywalker saga, and then it is Horizon Forbidden West. PlayStation 5 back in stock. Probably. Um oh, it was. You, you you tweeted it. I did. Yeah, it was on Amazon. I Facebooked it actually, because I care about my Believe it or not, I do care about my friends and getting some good entertainment down them. Mm. If that's what they want to do. Sometimes you want to play a PC game, you want to play a Mega Drive, I don't give a shit what you do. Just have a good time. Um, exactly. To Horizon Forbidden West was back at top of the UK physical charts after... Charts? <laughs> charts after a quiet week at retail. Sony's title saw 11% decline week on week with 95% of its sales going to the PS5, 5% of PS4. Horizon Forbidden West was already back at the top a couple of weeks ago, benefiting from PS5 hardware bundles, which is like the one I shared on Facebook, um, if you're lucky enough to have me as a friend on Facebook, which most people do. Uh, last week's number one, Mario Strikers dropped number three, following a 58% decrease in sales week on week. Um, Supermassive's The Quarry latest game uh, debuted number four last week, had to settle for seven with 63% drop. Uh, the only new entry in the charts was Numbskull Games' Final Vendetta. That debuted at number 36. Uh, 61% of its sales made on Switch. How would you feel about Final Vendetta? Do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. It looks, I mean, it does look really cool. It's like Sega. For, for those that don't, it. it's like Final Fight. Carry on. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to play it, but... I do. I, I saw Jamie was playing it, wasn't she? She was. It got overshadowed by um, turtles. It's, it's such a shame. Yeah. It's such a shame. It looks really good, but <laughs> no one's no one's released it a bit earlier. A no bit one's later. playing that over Shredder's oh. Revenge as as good yeah. as it looks. Um, and it it does look good. It looks like it's like brought that Final Fight formula to today. Um, today's quality of life improvements, which I'm all about. Um, but yeah, I mean, nice Horizon. Horizon. Not played that yet. I know you like Horizon. Sure, and, I'll be able to play it on the Okay. Yeah, buzzing. Try with the yes, we going. Yeah. Um, we'll speak PS Plus in a bit, John. If if we may, uh, is that all right? We may. Uh, but forty odd minutes, John. You ready to crack on or what? I was born ready. Right, John. Unfortunately, you were unavailable last week, which is fair enough. Yeah, man, someone come up. Um, is everything okay? Very close to not being that. Very to close. Being the same today, but mate, it's cool. You buzzing. So, last week, wow. played a bit of Shredder's Revenge because it was launch day. And also, me and NS in the house watched Final Fantasy VII 25th Anniversary Celebration. And I stepped up, he got his penis erect, and it was all beautiful, mate. Um, and what we saw was, have you managed to catch up on it? Did you see what I you did. wanted to see? Yeah, did are you... I be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to surprise you now, Jim. I've watched that trailer frame by frame. I bet you have. Yeah. Stock. Yeah, uh, on YouTube, frame by not second by second, everybody, frame by frame. Yeah, one frame, one frame at a time. For those that are unsure how to do that, you press the full stop and the comma. It puts it a frame by frame, not a second, which is what the arrow keys do. 
There you go, in case you ever get like me and get obsessed with something. Um, but Final Fantasy VII Rebirth I'm talking about, which I I mean, quite a lot of people predicted that it wouldn't be Remake Part 2, it would be another name of a re-something. Um, now, very interesting, Jam. So I'm going to go through the announcement. So it was merchandise, first soldier nonsense. Do you play that? I don't. I know you don't play that. I don't want to ask you. Um, Ever Crisis. No. Are you interested in Ever Crisis? Is that's not the new Crisis? That's the is it? quote unquote more faithful remake of the Final Fantasy VII timeline as a whole. Before Crisis, all the way up to Advent Children and everything in between. I'm already lost, fucking hell. That's that. That's that one that looks like Final Fantasy VII looks like, yeah. but with newer, yeah. newer graphics, yeah. if you will. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that's maybe, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, mobile gacha game, which is really upsetting yeah. me. Really upset me. It looks good as well. Um, probably not then. Um, yeah, so that, and then, obviously, James, Final Fantasy VII, uh, Crisis Core Reunion, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, sorry. Um, and then... Last but not least, the fucking climax to end all climaxes. You watch my reaction. You go watch my reaction. There was a vinyl there, a little nice NS. That was a merchandise as well, to be honest. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I was fucking like, it 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 showed a bit, but said nothing, which is about the perfect kind of trailer. You can scroll through frame by frame. I picked up a few bits, jam. I'm gonna right, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it, right? So did you actually? Fucking yes, mate. Don't even fucking start me on this now, right? It all started when he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna show you a trailer now," when they showed the Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core reunion trailer, right? Have you played Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core? I have not. The thing is, with Final Fantasy, is. mate, I will not touch grass. I will only touch grass if I can w- walk over grass. You love foliage. I do the foliage, to be fair. I walk over grass to get to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's what I'll do, mate. Um, so, you've not played Crisis Core. You've not, have you? No. Funny thing about Crisis Core, Jam. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will start in Calm. You will just The game will just start from the flashback that Cloud has with Sephiroth, going into Nibelheim, Going into the reactor, it'll, it it won't be they won't just walk into Carmen and say, like, "Oh, remember when Sephiroth did?" It? It'll just start on the train, right? Um, the thing is, though, Crisis Core ruins that bit of the game. Why? Yeah. Because because I, I, I allow me to retort, Jam. Because <laughs> that bit <laughs> this of the is game. A start. If you just go and look at this. Yeah, this is the, the, fucking, the, the fucking red string on the, the whiteboard. This yeah. is, I'm about to go there. I'm sorry. Right. Crisis. What are we on? No. Rebirth. It's going to start there. That flashback with Sephiroth. But you find out eventually Tifa just sits there and takes it all in. But she knows full well that, that Cloud's memories are not actually his memories. It's having the memories of his soldier friend, Zack, who is the dude at the end of Remake who doesn't die. But he does die, Jam, in Crisis Core. Okay. That bit, do you know the bit I'm not yeah, about? Can he, can he carry him? Yeah, he carries him up there, and then all the Shinra soldiers puts him behind a rock. He goes, boy, oh boy, the price of freedom is steep. Gets mm-hmm. fucking hounded by all these soldiers, dies on a rock, sit a bit, and then Cloud sort of stumbles into Midgar, um, gets his head together, but he doesn't actually get his head together because he sort of, the Mako poison that he receives under Hojo sort of makes him to believe that he had these memories which uh, were Zack's memories which was Cloud was never a sorry spoilers for Final Fantasy 7 Cloud was never a first class soldier he was just a fucking grunt it was Zack's mate Zack was the first class soldier do you know what I'm saying oh yeah okay yeah yeah Yeah. so what Crisis Core tells that story of of that flashback but it was not the flashback that Cloud tells it's the flashback that happens so it, going into Nibelheim there's more to it. There's more to it. You go with the Midgar and Junon, not Junon, yeah, wherever. And you, the game sort of explores Wu Tai as well and things like that. But the main flashback is there. But the Crisis Court ruins that flashback, so I'm unsure of. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? But I will say, 
releasing Crisis Core the Christmas before, well, the winter, I should say, before it's, it's winter, Rebirth right? is no accident. Like they, they want people to play it because if you can see the logo for Rebirth, let me put it on the screen for everybody right now. Drum roll, please. What the fuck is that red, right? Um, I'll tell you what that red is, Jam. There is an enemy in the Crisis Core called Genesis, right? He is Sephiroth's opposite, if you will. What colour is his robe, Jam? Is it red? It is red, but he dies in Crisis Core, right? But so does that, so you don't go with this. That he's gonna. I think Genesis. I, I I think the last boss in every game will be Sephiroth. I think the last boss in this game will be Genesis. Because you learn where the Buster Sword comes from in Crisis Core, and it's it's quite an important part of the story, if you mm -hmm. will. Um, so yeah, there's that, and then obviously it's going to ruin the flashback. But you're going to start Sephiroth's going to be playable, by the way, in that flashback. Put your house on it. Um. Oh, I can't wait. Just one hit that dragon. I can't fucking wait. Um, one hit what dragon? So there's a dragon in the flashback. He's just oh. dead. Don't fuck about, mate. Let's go. Um, Tetsuya Nomura, creative director, says, Can't wait to share the intention behind the naming of the first title, Remake, and the second title, Rebirth. I, I'm, just, I'm going to tell you in a minute what it's going to mean, but okay. We'll, we'll get there in a minute. In time, I hope to reveal what the third title will be called, like Revenge or Revengeance or resurgence or something like that what what, what are you feeling resurgence revival or something. I fucking no re something yeah the development of Final Fantasy and Rebirth has been progressing rapidly since we adopted a new development structure a title of this scale in which everything is interconnected even before production begins is truly rare in fact some development has already begun on the third title so oh, don't get me excited Tetsuya oh, they, they started working on that yeah. ages ago mm-hmm um, we want to do the fans same amount of enthusiasm blah 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 now there's a quote from is it this guy yes Na Naiko Hamaguchi sorry Ryan if I fucked that up I'm sure I did says, I'm overjoyed that we were able to announce Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and I feel a strong sense of duty to deliver the Final Fantasy 7 experience to all the fans eagerly waiting this game fucking get in my face Naiko mate you know what I'm saying the development has already entered full production and the team is highly motivated. fucking hope so if it's out next winter. Do you know what I mean? You would the hope so. The team is highly motivated putting everything together on the project. The Final Fantasy VII Remake project will be a three-part trilogy. Is that a surprise to you, Jam? Nope. No. I thought it was going to be five. But I thought it was going to be five, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. No, uh, no. We did say... Remember you saying I thought it would be more. Yeah. I thought it was going to be at least five. Or, or it'd just go on forever. With the scope of... Well, we then, only thought that because it was seven is seven end remake. of the seven remake is leaving Midgar, isn't it? Yeah, and that's like six hours into the first game. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I get it. It's a trilogy. I understand. Um, what and it's more like the, with the, what they showed and what was said on it is like it's possible that Aerith doesn't die. I mean, what well, if if I may, Jam? I'll get to that in a minute. Um. The Final Fantasy VII Remake project will be a free part of Chile, but Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is much more than just one installment in the series. We are developing it with a passion and dedication needed to create an original game and plan to deliver the ultimate gameplay and world-building experience. The wait will be worth it. The wait will be worth it. Um, Nico, mate, you're getting me, you're getting me all erect here, mate. Let's fucking do it. Um, now, Yoshinori, Yoshinori Kitase. Sorry, again, Ryan. Um, we've officially announced the second title of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will be released next winter approximately three years after remake uh, three years may feel like a long time for all the fans who eagerly wait for the next game you're fucking telling me Yoshi lad um, but we want to offer the best experience possible and reassure everyone that development is proceeding at an astonishingly fast rate for a large scale HD title no one calls them HD titles anymore Yoshi mate but okay um <laughs> Making we'll the middle it. part exactly. We're making the middle part of a trilogy has its own challenges, but there are plenty of classic second installments in the world of film that are defined by stunning story twists and deeper explorations of their characters. He's on about Star Wars Empire Strikes Back there. See? He's on about Star I'm fucking telling you now. He is. But uh, often these second installments become a favourite amongst the fans. Empire Strikes Back is the best one. Is Back to the Future 2 the favourite amongst the fans? No. Is, Back to the Future 2 is great. It's great, but it's not 
it's not everyone's favourite, is it? Is it? I don't think it is. Two's my, two's my favourite. Two's my favourite as well, but when I ask other people, who would say, oh, the first one, first one. First one, yeah. Who's third, the third one was one? definitely the weakest. Yeah, weakest. I agree. My mum said to me the other day, right last week when it was around hers, that Back to the Future is silly, and it's not very good. I was like, bro, who are you? Someone said to me today that Ghostbusters is shite. Did you slap them? Not Ghostbusters 2, like Ghostbusters the first one. I was like, how fucking dare you sit next to me, right, with your stupid opinion about the greatest comedy of all time, one of the greatest comedies of all time. It's just so Mm -hmm. good, mate. Um, But anyway... I do. I, I obviously you listen to. Uh, I don't know if you've heard. You've heard Ma- Maximilian talk about this bef- before today. Um, this to me is like I'm, I'm like yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I've not looked at Maximilian. No. Stuff. Um, yeah. He, 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 he says stuff and he was like it's Empire because when I read that it's like it's not about Empire Strikes Back surely and um, what's the second Indiana Jones film called? Temple of Doom. Yeah. Is that the best one? Isn't it? Or is it Raiders? It is, no. Temple of Doom. Yeah. Doom's definitely the best one. Um. And then that's the four of them, and then aliens. You've got aliens as well, but that's the four or five parter, and so on. I, I, I think he's leaning towards um, Empire Strikes Back because Final Fantasy Seven is very Star Warsy, and it's. Do you know what I mean? And it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like a, a ragtag group of well, most Final Fantasies, to be fair, but a ragtag group, big the empire, rebellion. rebellion. We're gonna come save the fucking planet, um, mm-hmm. well, the, the galaxy, but the planet, same thing, um, and obviously like big and wedge and. Like Sephiroth's Vader esque, do you know what I mean? Biggs and Wedge from Star Wars? No. Mate. Um You know what I'm saying now. So question Jimothy, James. Jam. Where do you think Reverse gonna Do you have any do you have any guess? No. Do you want me to tell you where it's going to? Go on then. I mean, I was thinking about this and obviously you gonna watch Max a million? Um, he, he he likes Final Fantasy Seven a lot more than me, and obviously he's more into. The yeah, more. No, I've seen. Yeah, I've watched a few of his. Videos, like this was remake, peak remake time, and yeah, yeah. That, Jesus that, that Christ, podcast he was on. I was like, I thought you went on. Yeah, mate. You people think I go on, mate. If it's Final Fantasy Six remake, it fucking be the roles will be reversed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I love that. I remake so good though, like. It took me a couple of hours to come round to it when I fi- after I finished it. Because when it finished, I was like, mm, I don't know. But then I thought about the possibilities. I'm like, I mean. Anyway, uh-huh. the general consensus is that Rebirth will finish just as a one of the party members is ceased to exist. Do you know what I'm trying to say, Jam? Yes. So we go down to the Temple of the Ancients. I mean, it's it's not really. Is a, it a spoiler? A spoiler? Can I say? I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Um, every Earth dies. So that is yeah. where I don't believe that's the case. To spoiler, if you haven't played the first one from yeah. 97. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody, but everyone knows that. Um, so, I mean, that's a, that's a. If it was a five part, like I thought it was going to be, I'd say, yeah, yeah, that's that's about right. But it's a three part, right? And they say this is mm-hmm. a big game. They said that. Um, so I think ask me if I'm wrong I don't think I'm wrong this game will finish just as you hit the North Crater just as you give Sephiroth the Black Materia just as he reawake reawakens reawakening Ooh. Clip it, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. Immediately. Jack's going to be wrong. Probably. That's a good shout, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you, uh, do you remember that bit when you go up the and he's in that stuff, he's encased and you sort of. Yeah. Yeah, so that. And then all the fucking kaiju start fucking going mental. They're, they're like sort of like the, the weapons, if you will. I was kind of open to see Diamond Weapon in this game, but I don't think we will. Um,. Damn weapon! Oh, really about that. Fucking ruins. Rufus is so cool in the first one. And you got ruby <laughs> weapon, an emerald weapon, and there's another one. I can't remember if there's another one. Um, but do you know what I mean? I, I think we're going to end there because that seems like a more because that is when the party is at its lowest. That's the Final Fantasy VI world ruin, if you will, where the party scattered. 
you know, Tifa's like, fuck, I've got to get one back together. We need to fucking go kill Sephiroth because he's going fucking mental. Um, but I do, I do believe the last boss will be Genesis of some sort, whether it's a ghost or um, sort of a Sephiroth Genesis double. T- did they fall out in the first? I can't remember if they fall out. They probably do because they're fighting. There's a fight scene in Crisis. Sorry, Jam. They probably are. The, yeah. Will. I mean, maybe, uh, I don't know. And then Genesis sort of comes back. What if, Jam? I sent you a message the other day. I was sent it to Reggie. What if? Because I think, as you go through Rebirth, I think you're going to get slivers of hope that Aerith doesn't have to die, right? I think that's going to be mm-hmm. the theme that get like the theme. That, I feel that's what they tried to tease. Yeah, I think I think you're going to get like drip fed like, oh, Aerith, Aerith doesn't even have to die. You can do this without killing her. But then I think you hit a point where it's like, no. Aerith has to die to save the planet mm-hmm. from Meteor, right? I think that's... I think they're going to try and preempt Meteor, but I think even if the Force, the, the the Whispers, if you will, are gone, the Plot Ghosts are gone, um, and the game doesn't have to stick to whatever happens, I think certain notes will have to... Like, you'll go to Co- Cosmo Canyon, you'll speak to Boogan Hagen, I can't wait to speak to him. Like, what the fuck's Ooh. going on, mate? Red 13's dad. The, the old guy wow. who, who takes mm-hmm. him to the, planet, the planetary thing. Do you know what I'm saying? But planetarium. Mm-hmm. Planetarium, James. Um, you go there. You go to Thingy to fight Dine. Barrett's mate with his... Aunt. Marlene's dad, not Barrett, the dude who Marlene's dad. Because genetically, it's not possible to be Marlene's father. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, you go there, gold, gold saucer, blah, 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 and so on. Certain things will be hit, yeah? What if I sent you this message the other day? It's like, Zack doesn't die. Oh, that means Zack and not Aerith, maybe. Cloud takes his place. Aerith will die. I, pr- I promise Aerith will die. I suppose yeah, it makes sense if they're supposed to come yeah. back together. Yeah. What if Cloud dies? And in, in the last game, I, that's why I thought it was going to be called Revenge, because you, you would have been Zack and not Cloud, and you'd have had to get... Is he Zack in Crisis Core, isn't he? Yeah, that's him. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I could go on forever. I won't go on forever. I won't go on forever. But I'm very excited. Also, let's get the trailer up again. Are you? Let's get the trailer up again. Right. I, I, I will not sit here for ages watching this trailer. We've got a show to do, John. Do we have a show to do? Can we just watch this all day? Oh, let's fucking do it. Bet mate. you sit there watching it a thousand times. <sighs> thousand and one, James. Let's What's do... the Crisis Call remake? Crisis Call Five Fantasy Cry- Seven Reunion. Ever Crisis is the more faithful remake. Jam. There you go, I've got it, yeah. Jam. What? Well, faithful. Yeah, and Genesis is voiced by a popular Japanese singer called Gact. And he's got his license, his, his likeness is with him as well, which I think they've given him a lot of money to. Re- it's no accident this game's coming out this year because at the end of the remake, it leans into Crisis Core a lot. Like with Zack and the, the alternate timeline shit. You know what I'm saying? But let's, let's, let's fucking have a go with this, mate. Wrong one, sorry. Right, James. What we've done, that set in stone, yeah? The past is forever. The future, even it has been written, can be changed. Jam. At the start of Final Fantasy VII, Zack's already dead. Yeah, Spoilers but, oh for no, Crisis Call. I'm this, sorry, yeah, this, Crisis Call. This, this, this starts off with, yeah, yeah. throwback in it with him and Sephiroth. Yeah, and then uh, the first two people you see in the trailer are, drum roll please, Zack and Cloud going to Midgar, but Zack never makes it to Midgar. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. R.I.P. Exactly. Let's carry on. Mate, let's carry on a bit. Let's go a bit further. 
Yeah, so we should focus on the future, not the past. And the first. Oh, hold on, sorry. Right there. That's Meteor crashing to Earth. This is the first thing you see. Focus on the future, not the past. Right? That looks so good, by the way. That foliage is beautiful. Right, so the Genova's there. Let's, go, let's, let's have a look at Genova. There she is. You know what I'm saying? In it. And. So he's, he's got to be. He's talking to Tifa there, isn't he? Yeah. There, so. This bit, jam. Yeah, you can see the, the stream. You'll be able to see the stream in a second. This bit is in the first. Cool. Right. So that bit there. So this is Nibelheim. The 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 fucking out to get there. I think it's on the outskirts of Nibelheim. I can't remember. But moving onwards and onwards and onwards. Da da da. Where is it? There. It shows meteor into Earth. Then it shows. Aerith, and now you've noticed that bit because that in the first game is where Aer <laughs> Jam. That maybe or may not be the place where Aerith potentially passes, and that's the white material falling out of her hair when it does. You know what I'm saying? Why was the church where her and Cloud met? No. That's where he takes her. I'm pretty sure that. No, he, he, he let, lets her go in the water. It's Temple of the Ancients. Joe McCarthy, yeah, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North um, Korea, South Korea, Maryland, Monroe, Ryan started the fire. I noticed the, oh, the, the only show Zach, Cloud, and Sephiroth in that trailer, and Aerith in the thing. That's it. No Tifa's not in it. She's talking, but she's not in it. Ryan's here. He Ryan buzzing. started the fire. Ryan's here. Um, so, they don't show Barrett, they don't show Red, they don't show Vincent, they don't show Sid, they don't show Kate Sif, they don't show Yuffie, they don't show, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I forgot, in, Yuffie's an integrate. Yeah, you played that yet? Yes. No, I haven't finished it, though. It's good, it's good. Um, I like how she can sort of juggle the opponents. But, I mean, I'm sure over the next 18 months we'll talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth till the fucking cows come home. But my question sure to you, that? my question to you, James. Before we move on to another game, I'm going to, have to take the hit, take the fucking wheel for. I'm sorry. Will they change the ending to reunion crisis call? Will they keep it the same? I think they'll retcon a few things, but do you reckon they'll? I I reckon they'll change it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's going to be like a Final Fantasy VII multiverse, isn't it? Yeah. One rock out universe ends this way, the other one ends that, that, yeah. that way. So you reckon they'll change it to sorry to seven remakes sort of I, I reckon they I reckon yeah, I reckon they'll change it. Yeah. Cause I like, I mean if you I mean I'm sure die hard fans will already like one of they our need friends will, new. Not, will not be happy when they change it, by the way. Who? Edgy. Is it LJ? Edgy. Oh, Edgy, yeah, yeah. LJ's yeah. not played it. LJ, I can't wait for LJ to play it. How has so he not played it? He I'm all the final it, I'm, I asked him a few, last year, I think, and he said, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna wait for it all to come out so I can just play it all, all back to back because it's basically the same, isn't it? I'm like... No, it's not. I'm just like, okay. Like, I tried to sort of nudge him in the right direction to be like, no, you need to play this game now. Mm-hmm. Um... But I mean, I could sit here all fucking day. I'll sit here all right. Jam, should we crack up? Right, ten remake next winter. Um, when a game company says winter, they want it out for Christmas. But that gives them a bit of leeway to delay it into next year without having to say it's the delay into next year. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Because winter is de technically December to March ish. Is that right? Right. Yeah, like quarter. Cool. Well, well, yeah. So winter. Yeah, because it's Christmas. They're all Christmas release. Yeah. They? Winter is 21st of December to 20th of March. Now, winter in game release territory could be anywhere from October to November as well. 
I, I, I believe. Well, when it, well, that's technically fall, but do you know what I mean? They can say winter and they can lose it from October to March and still be technically right. Uh, they want out for Christmas, both of them. We want them. Crisis grow out for this Christmas and they want Seven Rebirth out for next Christmas. But game development's tricky, so we'll see what happens. Um, Jam, moving on. Are you ready? I'm born ready. Born ready. I've got some beautiful stuff for you now, Jam. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 had a direct yesterday. Did you watch it? No. Are you happy? That I didn't watch it? Ask me if I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm fucking... I was going mental, mate. Um, uh, that was because of Obi-Wan. No, not because of Obi-Wan, mate. Um, let me see. You're welcome. Yeah, that is the ending of uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, I guess. Um, right, Jam. Are you ready for some Xenoblade 3 stuff? Yeah. Are you ready? Because uh, I'm buzzing, mate. Um, hmm. Hmm. Right, let me get the rundown, because I've got trailers and shit. It's a big direct. Oh my god, Nobelian didn't even live tweet it. That's outrageous. What am I supposed to. Right, wait there. Jam, wait there. Jam, wait there. No, not that one. Oh, I'm waiting. So, have you oh played any Xenoblade game, James? No. Of course I haven't. Why haven't you? Basically, I just go over it. I go over it really quick. I won't go on about this one. Basically, they went over the combat system. Um, you can swap roles within. There's like three. Wait there. I've watched. I've done so much since yesterday, and it was like two seconds. Uh, but you could. There's like attackers, healers, and defenders. I think is it, is it an attacker? There's people that can hit hard, people that can take the damage, and people that can heal. Right, you can swap roles. So if Noah is an attacker, you can put him as a healer, as well. Said all that shit. Bit of law there. Bit more voice from Jenna Coleman. We all like a bit of Jenna Coleman, Jam. You know what I'm saying? Um, they also Jam. Everyone was pissed off about this because it wasn't a, a, a proper direct. Which is more than likely, Jam. With you being in Spain, it's going to be announced next week. And it's going to be Probably. next week, and you're not going to be here. Um, but um, not. it's going to be an SP. They announced the expansion pass, which, if you look at, I mean, anyone, Xenoblade fans walk on that trail and see essence from the first two games anyway, with Colin and Iron people and, you know, the Mechons and the e, uh, the Welsh people, Gormotti and so on. Oh, you, you knew that, John. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh, I bought the season pass. Um, artwork. It's not even out yet. You see, I mean, there's enough. There's enough content there to be, not to be pissed off about. Because the only way Chronicles three would take you hundred hours at least. And then there's the story part of the season pass will probably take you another forty or fifty, probably thirty or forty to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm still pissed off. I didn't get the. Um, I'm trying to find the fucking. It went over the battle system with the um, the Ouroboros combining thing as well. That was the fusion thing, like Dragon Ball Z. That was cool. I'm about it, Jam. Can you, can you believe that? I'm about it. So there's that. Would you not? No, man. Um, I'm trying to find. I'm just going to fucking find it on Google. I'm just going to fucking find it on Google, mate. Why? Why would I? Watch out. What if he's done? There it is. For oh, fuck's sake. I can't be asked to move it across. This. Right, I'm just, what I'm going to do. It's an advert. Don't look at it. It's bad for you. Why is this? That's why. Why am I checking Twitter? What Twitter, mine or yours? Why? What's happened? Nothing on it. 
I'm on it now. What, what are you looking at? There's nothing on it. <laughs> Did you just do that while I've been talking about it? And you did. That's nang. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Oh, where are we? So, introduce all the characters. There's going to be seven characters in your party at one time. Um, there's going to be a, an additional party member called a hero. And they're going to jump in and out. And they've got different um, assets and stuff like that. Very Xenoblade. Are you buzzing? I want to shut that fucking person up. As cool as they look. I'm going to get them. Where is it? Sorry, everybody. But I'm all about this, though, mate. There it is. Now, Jam, what as a Smash player, do you notice anything in this picture? You don't care, do you? That is the Monado. That's the Aegis. And that's Noah's Sword. I don't know what it's called yet. Um, so that, that says to me... Why was he... Oh, baby was off on that screen, wasn't he? Jam, yeah, talk on the screen. Talk. Why has it gone off again? It knocks you off. It does me head in. Uh, there you go. Talk again. Hello. There you go. Sorry, Can everybody. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. The overlay always changes. I don't know why it defaults to not having Jam speak. Probably because he's full of shit, mate. Um, but my uh, my assumption was Shulk and all them, more people were going to talk, more people were going to turn up from the first two games because Van Damme or a, an ancestor of Van Damme or somebody related to Van Damme from two is in three and I'm, my assumption is, and obviously Nia and um, Melia are in three as well, so Shulk or Rex or anyone you know what I'm saying no one knows who they are but it confirmed confirmed to be in the expansion uh, pass, so yeah, yeah. Perhaps they're think, gonna is it, it, yeah. Be well, story mode stuff, I take it. An emergency. Yeah, so expansion pass, July twenty ninth, you get helpful items, outfit colour variants. I'm about outfit colour variants. Then December thirty releasing by December thirty first, you get challenge battle, new hero character and quests, new outfits. The hero character is the extra person, so you assume it's gonna be hopefully gonna be Cosmos or um L what's the name from X? What's the name from X Jam? Supposed to know. Julie. I can't remember her name. Um, oh my god. Oh, it doesn't matter. And then more heroes and stuff from releasing by April 30th and then releasing by December 31st, brand new story scenario. So you assume that's about 30, 40 hours of content right there. For 30, $30 25 quid. You can't really complain, can you? Nice. I mean, people will, Come but on. I mean, there's more. Is that for the expansion? Yeah, 25 quid. Depends on how much is in it and obviously how much people get out yeah. of it. Like Torna, the, the expansion for two was 40 hours. Easy. 40? Yeah. That's another game. Yeah, there. It, was his, it was his own game. It was a prequel kind of thing. I, I won't go into it, but it's a prequel. Um, but yeah, that'll be three out July 29th. Uh, my mum's birthday's that week. Of course it is. Yes, it is. Of course it is, mate. Um, Jam, sorry for chatting shit to you. Let me put my light on. Should we crack on or what? Yes. Let's crack on. Moving on, James. Final Fantasy 16 interview. I know you're very excited about this. Nope. Zero people care. <laughs> Zero people care. Um, Final Fantasy 16 is an ambitious, more mature entry in the series, says producer. I'll just wing it with the. Um... Oh, God. Excuse me. Uh, where is he? Where is he, Jam? He's over there. He is over there, mate. So, um, are you interested in 16 or you're not going to bother? Nope. Don't care. Why not? It's right up your street, mate. No, it's not. This is so. I'm reading from Rebellion. It says icon battles are playable with multiple stages, each of them feels different. Um, Clive can encounter them as a small human. Clive will live through different stages of his life, through his teens. Through his twenties and through his thirties, rated mature due to his adult themes. What a legend, mate! Uh, parties and companions. Clive appears to be the only controllable character. How does that make you feel? 
Say again? Clive, the main dude in it, appears to be the only controllable character. It sounds weird for a Final Fantasy it game. It does sound weird. But we'll move on. You will encounter <laughs> companions that will be AI-driven, so only controllable via a computer. You can't like jump. Like in 7 Remake, you can't jump through each one. Mm -hmm. um, Toggle the Wolf could be a full-time party member. Uh, but more info coming out on party soon. That's from IGN. Yoshida also confirms that Final Fantasy 16 will not be open world and use larger zones instead to create a sense of global scale. It may still have certain features inspired by uh, recent AAA open world games. New combat system is due to wanting to get new players on board, and because it fits better with the game presentation, defeating that oh god, where is it? Defeating an icon means unlocking its abilities, skill tree. Apparently, Clive can become an icon himself. I knew that was obvious by the trailer, right? And a new trailer will be shown this fall. Um, I'm, I'm very interested. I'm all about it, mate. Um, but if you were to offer me now Rebirth or 16, I'd rebirth your fucking hand off, mate. Uh, yeah, it's obviously. All day long. Uh, but That's I'm, probably the next one I'm going to play. I'm interested. My, in... maybe, maybe the Crisis Core. Yeah, yeah but... I mean, um, by the guy um, who, did, who fixed 14, so obviously there's, mm -hmm. it's going to be good. So I, I've no doubt of the quality that 16 is going to be at least good. Um, and obviously that medieval shit, mate, that, all that high fantasy shit, I'm all about it. So... Let's do it. Yeah, so, I'm not, that's not up my street at all. Yes, it is, mate. You love Lord of the Rings and mm. shit like that. No Game of Thrones and Merlin and shit like that. That's all about you, mate. No. Jam. Activision. It said we what about them? It said we wouldn't cover Activision, unless it pissed me off, and they pissed me off again. Um, there was that shit that came out last year and early this year that they're, oh, they're going to try and be better and they're going to do this and they're going to do that well I'm reading from Danielle Parties um, Activision shareholders vote to re-elect board including drum roll please mm. Bobby Kotick the That's fucking arsehole himself why, do, why <coughs> I can't wait for fucking Microsoft to take over and just fucking just sling him out the, the street. door Granted, it'll have fucking... First order of business. Yeah. Fuck off. Granted, it'll have a couple of million <laughs> under his arms when he gets slung out the door. Uh, well, he'll get slung Phil out the door. Spencer, get Phil Spencer to slap him yeah. around the face with his money and throw it out the door with him. Around 91% of the shareholders voted to extend the current board's term to the end of the next annual meeting in 2023. <laughs> you assume, hopefully, by then, Microsoft will be in charge and they can have more of a say of what's going down. 88%, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, 88% voted in favour of the company's ex executive Compensation package, which include base salaries and short and long-term financial incentives for C-level employees. Shells were massively against appointing an employee representative for the firm, with 95% voting against the proposition. That means somebody who basically a union <coughs> dude, or somebody's going to stick up for the people like the Mike Lynch, if you will, who's been absolutely mm -hmm. tremendous on the um, the rail strike thing, and he's been taking down Tories and journalists left, right, and centre. And I'm all about it. Um, Notably, 67% voted in favour of the report that details how Activision Blizzard is responding to allegations of harassment at the firm. In response, the company said that it will carefully consider the proposal to enhance our future disclosures. I'm glad I don't like any Activision games. Because it makes it easier not to buy them. Do you know what I'm saying? It does. And it makes it easier not to buy them that they skip games like, are you ready, Jam? Are you ready? Tony Hawk's 3 and 4 scrapped. Now, yeah. Tony Hawk like does not yeah. give it. Yes. He wasn't. You need to go. go on, carry on, carry on. I, I can, no, I, no, 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 no. I can, speak, just home. I can speak to the just kind of fan of it. <laughs> I can do that for you. Continue. Right. Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk doesn't give a shit, mate. Like, he does not care. Um, mm -hmm. Now, there's a clip of him here. I don't know if you've seen it. Where he's basically on it. stream with a Tony Hawk streamer and he says... The plan was you played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two Remastered or whatever it was. Did you play them? I haven't played. I haven't played the remastered ones. No, oh, I played them. The bottom down says they're very good. Um, <clears throat> they're quick, like exactly what you remember them. Similar to Turtles, it, it feels like what you remember it. But if you were to go back and play it, it would not feel that good. Mm -hmm. It feels like how you remember it, which is I think is the best way to do a remaster of that sort yeah. of time frame. Um, basically said, Activision Blizzard slung. Um, who was it who did it? 
Vicarious Visions. They dumped so them people on. Did, they same, dumped, yeah. Same as Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, right? yeah, they, they dumped them on Overwatch. Was it Overwatch or Diablo? One of them two. They dumped them on one of them two, the Blizzard. And they just merged them with Blizzard, shot them down, and didn't do Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and 4. So I like 3. I think 3 is my favourite one. I'm 3 was upset. really good. I'm very upset I didn't play that. 4. A three was good. The the cruise ship. Yeah, was cruise cool. ship. Ace of spades, mate. Just chilling. Um, yeah. Jam. How much? Why? Do you care? Why what? Why? I'm glad they're not making any Crash Bandicoot games. I swear to that. I've not even played four yet, to be honest. It's good. Yeah. Prob- that- and that's how dare you? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure it's glorious. I'm sure it's shit, mate. It is glorious, but no, I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm not so bothered. I probably wouldn't have got it anyway. It's one of them games I will remember fondly, but mm-hmm. won't care about a remake of or pick up again. What crap? Uh, unless I saw it. Unless I saw it like a, a was it Tony Hawk? Yeah. Unless I saw like a you know, bargain bin pick up or boot sale or whatever for um, a few quid. Yeah, I think I, I only played it because it's my girlfriend's copy, basically. Yeah. Um. But I, I enjoyed my time with Tony Hawk's, but I don't think... It's, I appreciate the craftsmanship that's got into it. It's very good. It, it takes you back and all that. But I wasn't rushing out to get it. Yeah. It's good the job they did, but I, I'd rather Activision do them projects than just shove everyone on Overwatch and Call of Duty. Do you know what I mean? Zero people care about Overwatch. You love Zero Overwatch. People. You love Overwatch. Zero people yeah, care. It is what it is, though. Jam. Moving on. Like you said earlier, today's the day. Um, Europe finally gets the PlayStation Plus uh, S extra and premium. Is that the wait there? Essential premium and whatever it might be. Essential. Yeah. E- Drum roll, please. Not yet. Tell me. Tell us if it's going. Overwatch tell three it. has not been announced. There it has. Overwatch two was announced nineteen years ago. Nineteen years ago. Yeah. Anyway, James, PlayStation Plus, Essential, Extra, and Premium. Um, coming out. Extra tier adds a catalog of PS4 and PS5 games. Uh, your Essential tier is what you're on now, if you're on PS Plus yeah. now. And Extra, no, Premium, sorry, is PS1, two, PS1, PSB game. PS3 games via the cloud. And as well as streaming access to PS1, two, P, and 4 titles. Jam. Mm hmm. Have you upgraded your tier, uh, your subscription yet? I have not. Are you going to? Yes. What to? Top one, premium. Premium. How much is premium? Remind me. I can't find it on this uh, article. Ninety nine, ninety nine a year. Uh, are you going to pay it yearly or? Yeah, I mean, I can. I went on it early. I've not done it yet because mm-hmm. I'm going to Spain tomorrow. So I thought there's no point in me doing it. I'm not going to. I'll save thirty seven quid. Yeah. Which is my upgrade price, by the way, not fifty. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll do it when I get back from Spain because I'm there's no point in doing it and then I'm not going to play anything. That's true. Uh, but the, yeah, but the, my decision was like I need to see what games I'll play, so I went on it and looked at the library of games. You saw there. Death Stranding, man. You're straight in there. No, uh, I didn't. No, I wasn't even looking at the PlayStation ones. Like the the like there's Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, big tick. Um, the Sky of Five. Was, that's there. There's like three or four Castlevania games. There's um, Toy Story 2, Blood Blood, World. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Bloodstains on it. Um, But there's quite a few games that I'm like, yeah, I can sink my teeth into this. And like, yeah, I think it's... I don't think it's a scratch on Game Pass at the moment. Not yet. But I think as time goes on and progresses, it will get better. There's potential to be knocking on. It it will become worth more of the money you pay for it. Mm Mm-hmm. Because I'm a bit disappointed with the the legacy system, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Because one same. PSP game, Echo Chrome. I don't, I don't know what that is about Google in it. It will give all you out, mate. Oh, um, PS2, Apescape Two. Yeah, fair enough. Dark Cloud, fair enough. Dark Chronicle, fair enough. Need Metal Gear, his Metal Gear Remastered trilogy yeah. on there. Jack, all, Jack's on there. All, Jack I was gonna say all, all the Jack games are on there. Um, Primal, Red Faction One and Two, Rogue Galaxy. Star Wars, Bounty Hunter, Jedi Starfighter, Razor of Revenge. Uh, Razor of Revenge, that was one. That's a, such a good game. Yeah. Um, Worms, World Party, and Armageddon, Wild Arms. Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue is on there. 
Tekken 2, Siphon Filter, Resident Evil, Director's Cut, Mr. Driller, Abe's Odyssey. These are all, they're all great, don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. I, I, I was kind of hoping there'd be, they'd make access to games that are hard to, do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. your Zeno Gears, for example, your Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the PlayStation 1, not the the remastered version, the the PlayStation One version, and so on. Yeah, because you can buy some. I mean, the, being the stuff that costs yeah. bare bun. Um, Trombon, the, the misadventures of Trombon, which goes for about one hundred and fifty quid. Like the games that go for 100, 100, 150 quid on on the bay. I was kind of hoping to see a few of them, but not yet. Potentially, eventually, we will get there, mm -hmm. but uh, not yet. And another th that was Chris Scullion at VGC, also from v the Gamer. Um reading now ps plus the games quite a lot of the games are 58 50 hertz pal versions and not the superior 60 hertz um, yeah, yeah, yeah which is a bummer but the, the oh, I, when, it, when it was released in america i was looking at some americas going what the hell how yeah. do people play this yeah mm -hmm. um yeah. and uh the playstation Europe say we're planning to roll out ntsc options for a majority of classic games I imagine some won't be available to do that because there'll be some bollocks about it. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to upgrade just yet. Uh, but yeah, Jam. I'll let you know when I do it and yeah. see how, how, how well it is. Mate, that's all I've got time for today. Well, for the report. Have you got anything to add or any, anything else? No. Have you got a forgotten gem or an unpopular <laughs> opinion? I've got to ask you. Oh, we'll do the thing, Jam. Name me year. Let's go. Let's do it this way. Name me year. You, you do it to me, and I'll do it. Okay. Reverse. Yeah, okay. Let, let me... Um... Oh, I'll go 90s. Some... Hang on. Trying to grasp my old word, 90... 90... You born in 89? I was, yeah. 99. 99? Yeah. Oh, my God. I've already got a banger, probably. You've already got a banger. If it's that year, and keeping it on par as well, I just just make sure it came out that year and not the I year. I don't out. know what it's going to be. Oh, what do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be a certain game of a sci-fi nature. Yes, but I don't think that one you might be thinking of came out it, that year. Did it not? Uh, it didn't. On. It didn't. It's not the one I think. Right. Okay. Moving on. Uh, yeah, so, but you're not far off. So it is a sci-fi game of of the same franchise. Yeah, it's absolute absolute banger. It's one of the best, like, critically acclaimed best games ever made. This it's forgotten gems, mate. It it's not the best game ever made. It's clunky. It's awkward. But I played the crap out. I think it's a Star Wars game. He's a Star Wars game. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's quite straightforward. It came out the same year as the film. Phantom Menace. Yes, the Phantom Menace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, Jam. Right, okay. But, uh, Jam, enlighten me, mate. Why do you like this game a lot? It was like, it was RPG Star Wars. And, uh, this was before Knights of the Old Republic. Four years before Knights of the Republic, by the way. Four Knights of the Republic. Um, and uh, the the last RPG Star Wars before this that I played, is another forgotten gem of mine, was Yoda stories on the Game Boy. <laughs> but this, 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 this combined RPG-like stuff with action. Yeah. And uh, I mean, a lot of it is nostalgia to me. And uh, nostalgia is a powerful thing. But uh, like, Nostalgia is a powerful about, thing. Like, when you're talking to NPCs, you have options to ask them or replies you get. Nine ninety nine for a tie-in game. That's yeah. impressive, mate. Same year, mate. But yeah, I played the hell out of this. Game. This looks rough, our kid. That's some yeah, nice foliage, though, mate. Got the advert in the bottom. I've got rid of it. Don't worry. But yeah, it, it was rough, but just great. 
for me anyway. It was a voice acting. It was official Star Wars Lucas Arts, by the way, before it became before it wasn't Lucas Arts anymore. Now it is Lucas Arts again. Mm hmm. Yeah, because um, it vanished for a bit, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, great game, loved it. And uh, I remember beating Darth Maul for the first time. I was like, ah, oh, I've done it. He was in. This, I, I very much enjoyed this game. I still have the same game I played, same copy, I think. Are you all about this? The whole playthrough, four hours, fifteen minutes. This exact copy, I hammered. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't there? You have it. But jam. You know what I need to do? I'm on the bay. What? Find out how much it is. Find out how much it is, mate. Find a menace PS One. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, Panzer Dragoon Saga for five hundred and forty-nine pounds on the bay. Buy two. Why would I buy two? If I, mate, so what, drone manuals were this thick. Yeah. Oh. Drum roll, please, Jam. Oh yeah, the bonus, bonus video, a jewel of the fates, and it starts off with um. Oh, da, da, da. Jam, it's your lucky day. You're looking at anywhere between a fiver and a tenner for that. Yeah, I know. So a, a relatively cheap forgotten gem, James. But a glorious one, nonetheless. Yes, I'm, I'm sure it was wonderful for the time. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. been a pleasure, as always. You know, I, I enjoy talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake theories um, and Vanilla Bay Chronicles. And four... Mate, that is creeping on us, mate. What is? Zelda Bay Chronicles 3. It can take its time, don't worry. Five weeks tomorrow. That gets me all giddy, mate. Question, before I let you go. Zelda Bay Chronicles 3, because they've about to, they pulled it forward, you assume to swap. Basically, they swapped Zelda Bay Chronicles and Splatoon around. Splatoon needed a bit more time in the oven. Um... Is the special edition is getting chipped in two bits, so you're getting the game on the 20th, 29th ish, mm -hmm. and the rest of the shit's coming later on in August or ish time. I that gives you time to play what you I get given say, first. I was going to say, do, 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 how does that sit with you? Well, I don't mind it because. No, that, that's fine. Like yeah. You can see behind me, you can't really see them, but there's Xenoblade collector's editions behind me, and they've got massive books, and it's littered with yeah. spoilers. Do you know what I mean? It's littered with like artwork mm -hmm. and spoiler artwork and things like that. So it'd be nice to just play the game and then open the book and read it and stuff. So um I just wanted to know what you thought of that. But Jam, have a nice time in Spain, won't you? I'll have a tremendous Mate. time in Spain. If there's no direct I, I, if I've got internet I'll probably be hanging out in the Discord and stuff yeah. in the evening Re and shit. If there's no um if there's no direct next week I'll probably play a bit of Final Fantasy Seven remake unless something absolutely crazy happens then I'll do a casual report plus. We'll, well, like other, other people join. Other people join. We'll, we'll wing it, mate. We'll do something. I appreciate your time, as always, everyone. Jam, it's been a pleasure, as always. You know that. Don't forget, vote for your favourite Final Fantasy game. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Tell me, on, I'm being serious when I say this, tell me what you think's going to happen in Remake Part 2 or Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth, if you will. Um... But before, we've got a fucking hot minute until that comes out. But until then, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, um, Jam, been a pleasure. Everyone in the chat, we love you all. Keep it casual. I'll see you in a bit. What the toughest for a go.